Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Justin Nelson's Projects. Now, I want to talk about this 3D printer. This is not a review, they just started a print. And that print is the feet for the tripod you're currently sitting on. Well, one of them's missing. So I'm printing three of them in TPU. The point I'm getting at here is my old printer was a project in and of itself. Here's our new heat block surrounded by the plastic that I printed yesterday, which is PETG. And I'm gonna use this to print this over again. You always had to mess with it, unclog the hot end, change the nozzle, tighten the belt. There was always something that needed to be done with it. You couldn't just, uh, design something really quick and just click print and go you know it was its own project and that was great in 2020 when i bought the thing that's what i wanted i needed something to do i was bored everything was closed i was out of work and uh yeah got into 3d printing now however i see this more as a tool than a project i want it to just work when I go to my car, I want it to just start and run. I don't want to have to air up a tire, put oil in it, do maintenance to it every single time I go to use it. There's something new wrong with it. No, uh-uh. If you're into the 3D printing hobby, for the sake of learning how 3D printers work and modding it and seeing what you can do to tweak it, make it faster, make it better, then by all means. But if you want something that's just gonna work, then you need to get something like this. Not necessarily a bamboo. These things have come a long, long way. Hell, since 2020 even. Here we are at the end of 2024. Black Friday sales are going on like crazy. So I'm definitely gonna put some Amazon affiliate links down below to some different 3D printers. In the meantime, it's so nice to have a printer that just works. Now, would I trade that experience of fighting with that beast of a Frankenstein printer for anything? No, absolutely not. Because I know all about how these things work. If something does go wrong, I know how to fix it. But that doesn't mean I want to have to every single time. Now, it should be pretty obvious that this has been modded like crazy, but not because it was lacking in any way. Most of it's cosmetic. I made the little screen look cooler. Everybody complains about this screen on the P1S. I don't mind it. It's functional. It does everything I needed to do. And if I need more, I can control everything from the phone or my laptop or my desktop. I don't need a big old full color touch screen on here. And I don't need that LiDAR that the X1C has. If you are looking into the Bamboo Lab printers personally, I recommend the P1S. Don't spend the extra 500 on the X1C. Also, the AMS, not just for multicolor printing. You'll notice I have three identical black spools in a row. Why? Why would I have three of the same color in a multi-material system? Well, it's not just for changing colors. When you've got a spool that's just about out of filament, and you're always afraid to stick it on your printer because is it enough? Is it gonna get right to the end and oh, it just ran out? The AMS will automatically, if you have the same identical filament loaded up, go on to the next one and continue printing as if nothing happened. You can use up the end of these, you know, spools that have just a little bit left on them. It's fantastic. It has other purposes as well. You can mix materials that don't mix. Why would you do that? Support material. PETG or PETG and PLA do not bond together like at all. So you can use PETG as a support material for PLA and vice versa. And it breaks off nice and clean. Just another example of why you want the AMS. It makes life so much easier. You know, my day job, I do lighting for a living. Take the ballast out of fluorescent fixtures, take the old tubes, recycle them, and install direct wire LED tubes. While I'm on the ladder doing my mindless task throughout the day, my mind is going, how can I make this easier? I gotta climb up the ladder, take the tubes out, climb down, set them aside somewhere safe, climb back up, rewire the ballast, close that up, go back down, grab the new LED tubes up again and install them. So that's at least three up and down trips on the ladder. And my thinking was, what if I had some kind of quiver, you know, like what archers keep their arrows in? And uh, well, that's what I came up with. A couple little things that clamp onto your ladder. And in my case, it fits both my six foot Werner that you saw and my 10 foot Werner. I thought of it, I designed it, I printed it. Didn't quite work right, made a few tweaks, printed it again, done. Did I have to mess with the printer? Did I have to change the hot end? Did I have to go, huh, how come it's, ah, none of that crap. No about that thanks so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up let youtube know that you want to see more of this ugly mug if you like this kind of video or any kind of project videos i do everything from electronics leds ah, 3d printing you know more leds a lot of led stuff hit that subscribe meanwhile i'll see you in the next one